an infection disease outbreak in China in December 2019 has emerged with a record number of deaths and a quick spread to other countries. Infected people show pneumonia symptoms. Advancing to severe acute respiratory syndrome, coronavirus 2, SARS-CoV-2, better known as COVID-19. It is spread by human-to-human -human transmission via droplets or direct contact, and the virus has an estimated incubation period of 6.4 days. During this incubation period, the need immunity is activated. Coronavirus will overcome mechanical barriers and travel to the lungs, specifically to pneumocytes type 2, which is the cell that the virus primarily infects. The cell protein ACE2 is where the spike proteins from the virus latch, and this is when the pathogenicity begins. When the body recognizes the infection, the immune system starts to attack. It is a non-specific immune response. Cytokines act as messengers to the entire cell regimen. A complement system is also involved here, consisting of a series of proteins that are activated gradually. Its main objective is to help eliminate pathogens and infected cells. When this immunity fails to defeat the pathogen, adaptive immunity is activated, which requires more time to develop, because it's more specific. First, helper lymphocytes arrive to the site. This immunity will require an antigen processing cell and the major histocompatibility complex to load the activation of critical processes in the generation of the immune response. This complex immunity is due to the cellular response, the T lymphocytes, and humoral response, the B lymphocytes, that are cells capable of producing antibodies, known as immunoglobulins. If everything goes well, your immune cells will be able to fight against the virus. It will be recovered soon, and the plasmatic cells save the information to attack the virus properly a second time. In recent studies, memory has also been found in innate immunity, but we don't know yet how long this memory will last. If the virus is still infecting, cytokines will be overactivated and provoke a cytokine storm, producing an inflammatory response. The cytokines increase, especially the IL-2 and the IL-7. A cytokine storm is really bad for your body because it can affect other organs, like your stomach, for example, causing a multi-organ failure. Scientists are recently studying the interferon gamma. The discovery that ACE2 is an interferon-stimulated gene could have clinical implications, since interferon is often used in the treatment of viral infections as complementary therapy or when there is no specific antiviral. So, this could be the key to developing a therapy. Finally, it is necessary to mention that it has been found that factors such as age, sex, virus strain and comorbidities could trigger a weak response to the virus. But don't get too frustrated about it. Approximately, only 20% of the infected people will need intensive care because their bodies won't be able to fight the virus by themselves and the other 80% will need extra help.